Al Thomas is with us. We're at Globe Lighting. So, Al, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing I can save so much money with this light bulb. Everyone's telling me to buy it because, look, you save $49 a year. It's 65 watts and look 8,000 hours you're not gonna have to replace this so right. this is what I'm going with right right well this is what everybody wants you to believe this is actually only um, 14 watts to replace the 65 watt lamp so what we've done was we've built this here for you can actually test this all right the most common lamp being used in all new, new construction or has been for quite a while in recess cans and track line is this 75 watt or 65 watt BR 30 as you can see it's putting out about 120 foot candles and it's using 53 watts even though it's a 65 watt lamp now they make a compact fluorescent replacement to that. As you can see, it changes the color temperature a little bit, yeah. and, but my light levels are not as high as I think they are. But now this will slowly but surely ramp up, but I've taken my wattage from 55 watts down to 14 or 15 watts. Okay. 14 watts there. And now you're going to uh, a lamp that you cannot dim because it's a compact fluorescent. That's great. Very few compact fluorescents you can dim. There are a few of them out there okay. at a higher price point, but most of them on the market you cannot. And you'll see it takes a warm-up time. Now we're finally getting up to this. Now, even at its best, this is only going to produce about 80 percent of the light that this one's producing. The problem with these is they're going to advertise an 8,000 hour lamp. They're using a commercial type rated life application to them in a situation residential where they're being turned on and off on and off on much shorter, shorter events. You're probably only going to get really four to 5,000 hours. No, uh, uh, okay. You, yeah. You, you, this whole marketing thing. You <laughs> yeah, got to watch so, what well, you're doing. Yeah, you, know, you got to know what you're exactly. All right. So we're going from a compact fluorescent here to what? Now, the next step is an LED and I want you to know so there's a lag time to this. There we go. However, initially, right off the top, I'm getting significantly more light. I'm getting 164 foot candles out of this. Compared to what was that? That was that was getting about 80 foot candles 80. once once it warmed up. And mm -hmm. this is only using 12 watts, so a little bit two watts saving. Now the beauty of these is they're not impacted by that turn off off cycle on and off cycle I told you about. Uh, these are going to last 35 to 50 thousand hours. Whoa, whoa. 50,000 hours as opposed mm -hmm. to just 4,000? 4, 4,000 to 8,000 or it, 2,000 hours on the standard. Two, is it that much more money? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. You know, you, you, this thing is probably going to retail $65, $75. But it will, in energy efficiency, in the right. long run, you're saving. Uh, yeah. It, you will, but you got to do the math and really yeah. see if that's right. Plus, you'll also notice again the tonality of the light's changing. So the color temperature of this light's changing dramatically, and you yeah. have to see if that works in your application. What's interesting to me is that these these are always comparing to this one, which is like the worst one on the market. Nobody talks about this little guy right here. This is only consuming um, 50 watts, but look at my light level. It's jumping up to 450 foot candles. And forty and forty six watts for four hundred and fifty foot candles. Right. And so if you just want to spread light over a room, you don't care what you're lighting up. Is this what you would go with? Possibly. I mean, it's very possible because it would, it would take four of these to get the no, it take three of these to get the light level up. So four right. times fifteen or watts or watts or watts using. There's your real load to get the the light level up. This is the problem with just using a bulb 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 comparison. You really have to look at the light output, the color temperature of the light, and really see what it's putting on there. All right, Al, thank you very much. Al My Thomas pleasure. with Globe Lighting, a certified lighting technician. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Perfect. And to make things easier, we're going to put all this stuff on our website Perfect. for everyone else. Perfect. All right. All right.